Hi, I'm Callie from Full for Life. And I'm Taylor with Get Fit with Tay, I'm a certified personal trainer. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about creating healthy habits over the holidays. Oh yeah, because we all know how hard that is. It is, the struggle is real over the holidays. Everyone's so busy and with having a family, I think it mm -hmm. makes it extra difficult. Yeah, just like meeting with all the family around, they bring their traditional di dishes here and we're just like, okay, have some of this, my yams with all the sugary stuff on top. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, it's my favorite. Okay, let's try and go for the vegetables first instead of going straight to the dessert. Yes, a pecan pie. I don't know if your family does that. Oh. I actually was looking at, not to go off on a tangent, but I was looking at a recipe today for a healthy pecan pie and it still had like a cup of sugar and a cup of butter and I was like, darn, even the healthy versions probably aren't a healthy. Yeah. My biggest thing uh, that I tell my clients is just eat in moderation and feel free to indulge a little bit, but just don't go overboard. One meal isn't going to ruin your track to your goals. but. If you go and binge eat for two, three days straight, because we all know how good those like, Thanksgiving leftovers right. are, right. then yeah, it might, might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> right. I, always, I like to call it the 80 20 approach. So 80% mm -hmm. of the time, really just focus on eating healthy, whole, nutritious foods. Totally. And then 20% of the time, you know, have fun. Have a slice of pizza, or in the case of the holidays, a piece of pecan pie, or yeah. whatever you want. <laughs> But pick and choose what you want that 20% to be because there's so much out there, I think, over the holidays, like cookies and cakes and just different things that if there's a table full of it and there's cookies that are from the grocery store and then there's homemade cookies, pick and choose which one you want your 20% to be, I think. Because mm -hmm, you know what's in the stuff from the grocery store so they have those nutrition labels. Exactly. But when you have homemade stuff, I mean, you kind of just gotta play with what you think and feels right. Kind of tune into how you're feeling after you eat something. Right. Or, and just, I don't know, be more, bring mindfulness to your eating. Right. You're trying to get at. And then fitness. How about fitness over the holidays? That's super difficult too. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> He's little guys over yeah. here. He's over here eating some peas and carrots and raspberries <laughs> and toast, you know, so he just finished his food over there, so we're about to be wrapping up pretty soon. But yeah, fitness in the holidays, I don't know, just prioritize movement and don't like kill yourself thinking it's a chore. Kind of put it as like, hey, I get to go on a walk. Like just take the dogs on a little bit of a longer exactly. walk. Exactly. If you don't get in the gym, don't beat yourself up. You can just start that routine next Monday. Like it's not, it's, you can get that. Fit in little pockets where we can, even if it's 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, I post a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a one minute move every day on the Full for Life Facebook page, and Tay posts some awesome stuff on her Instagram page every day too. So if you're looking for a little burst of movement, you can go to either of those resources, but fit it in wherever you can, and you happy know. Holidays? Yeah, happy yeah. holidays and stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'm in the video. <laughs> and real quick, we had to introduce Tay's little man. Say hi. Can you say hi? 